despite recent criticisms, the committee recommended further spending to accommodate the new shift in technology as specified by the GMC last June. But the minister said that there was little he could do at this point in time. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hiya. We are discussing current affairs. I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? He's doing good. He is mulling over underfunding in the NHS, aren't you? Oh, all right. Mm. Coffee's in the pot. Oh, thanks. I see he's been fed. Fed, winded and changed. You name it, we've done it. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm just doing my bit. This hands-on approach wouldn't have anything to do with yesterday, now would it? What, delivering that baby, you mean? Well, it's a rare occurrence, but you have to admit, I did all right. Mm. Well, in that case, from a second child, maybe we should have a home birth and you can do the honours. Second child? Mm. Oh, don't worry, I wasn't serious. Uh -huh. Well, not about the home birth bit, anyway. I'm not going to let time dictate my life any longer. I spent 40 years watching the clock, and I'm not going to do it for one minute longer. <laughs> one minute longer. Where's Christine? Uh, she's by the pool. Here, feast your eyes on that. Luxury liners? Mm hmm I've always wanted to go on one of those. You've just been on holiday. You can't have too many, in my opinion. Well, what about the arthritis? Oh, I'm allowed to take that along with Dad, me. Dad, I'm being serious. You mustn't wear yourself out. These cruises are geared to old fogies. You're not even allowed aboard unless you've got grey hair. I suppose Christine's all for it. Well, who wouldn't be? It just seems like a waste to me. A waste of what? Your inheritance? No. I was joking. Honestly, you really ought to lighten up And you a shouldn't bit. mix those with alcohol. Yes, perhaps you're right. I think one of the side effects could be deja vu. Really? I have an impression that we just had a conversation about drinking only a minute ago. I'm just well, saying... Well, don't, it... because I am fine and I'll be even better if you stop fussing. Dr Elliot will be with you in a minute. Thanks. Uh, tomorrow at 11.20, then. Alice Dowsland? That's coming through. Hello, can I help you? Uh, no, thanks. Dr Maguire. Oh, hi. Julian Stevenson. Hugo's son. Yes, of course. How'd you that? He's the reason I'm here, actually. Oh? Don't suppose you've got five minutes? Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm through. I don't think he's married. <laughs> How can you tell? No wedding ring. It makes no difference. In my experience, men behave how they want to, married or not. Won't keep you long. I've got to get back to work soon anyway. So how is the old man? Well, when did you last see him? Um, about a year ago. Did nine holes at Fairfield. It's not his physical health I'm worried about. Not with it? He's behaving erratically. In what way? It's hard to explain. I suppose a good example is his attitude to money. He was always so careful. Now he can't get rid of it fast enough. And we're not just talking about a few pounds either. He splashed out on a sports car that he hasn't even used. Any idea what might have brought this on? I don't know. Maybe it's his medication, or the fact that he washes it down with scotch. Either way, it's not right. Do you think it could be depression? I mean, your mum, she only died, when? Two years ago. Well, exactly. And the grieving process is a long one. He's certainly not acting like the lonely widower. He's taken up with a woman practically half his age. Yeah, well, that could still be a reaction to losing Mary. I mean, the relationship might be a temporary thing. They're engaged. How temporary does that sound? Yeah, it's quiet. I wouldn't mind so much if she was... if they were well-suited. As it is, he's making a complete fool of himself. And it's no good trying to reason with him because he's being totally irrational. Have you discussed this with his doctor? No. If I contact him, then my father will know I've been interfering. I was hoping that if you went round, it'd just look like a social call. Oh, I, I don't think that would be very oh, good. Just idea. for an informal assessment. You might be doing him a huge favour. So, the last lot of laser treatment was July? That's right. And did that alleviate the pain at all? Only for a little while, but then it came back. That must be very frustrating. It is. Each time I get my hopes up that it'll solve the problem, and it doesn't. 
Uh, it looks as though Dr Mystery was planning to arrange another hospital appointment with the consultant if the treatment didn't work. Would you like me to go ahead and do that? Yes, please. I'm desperate to get this sorted out. We'll do our best. How often would you say the condition affects you? More or less every day. Yeah. I've taken so much time off work in the past eight years, I'm surprised I've still got a job. Right. The hospital will write to you and confirm the appointment. OK? What do you think he'll say? Who? The consultant. Ooh. That's a tough question. I'm not an expert on endometriosis. It's quite a common condition, though, isn't it? True, true. So you must have some kind of idea on what the outcome could be. I'm afraid it's not black and white. You see, each case has to be taken individually. But do women in my position usually need surgery? If the endometriosis is very bad, then a hysterectomy is often the answer. But you have to bear in mind this is pure speculation. In your case, there's a good chance you may not need surgery at all. The thing is not to worry. Like I said, I'm not the authority. <laughs> Far from it. Not interrupting anything, am I? Not at all. Fantastic to see you. I was visiting one of your neighbours and your name came up, so I thought I'd come in and say hi. Ah, uh, do! Good. How's the retirement? Oh, I really recommend it. If you hadn't spent so many years flogging your guts out for the public health sector, you'd be out on the course improving your handicap right now. I don't seem to have played for ages. Other priorities, eh? I've just become a father again. Oh, yes, I heard. Somebody told me at the golf club that Kate was pregnant. Congratulations. Thank you. A boy or a girl? Boy. Marvellous. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's wet the baby's head. Uh, better not. Oh, just a small one? I've got to work this afternoon. Fair enough. I wish I had your willpower. Huh. Here's to Kate, the baby, and, of course, you. Cheers. Excuse me. Where are the toilets, please? And they're just up those stairs. Thanks. Did you see that? What? Her? She looks terrible. <coughs> oh, uh, hi, are you here to see Jude? Is she in? Uh, yeah, I'll just let her know you're here. Hi. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I don't have time for this. Five minutes, that's all. No. I'll sit here all day if I have to. I'm still on the board. Does it involve much work? To be truthful, the hardest work I do is staying awake during those blasted meetings. <laughs> ah, that'll be Chrissy. Hello? Chrissy, come in. There's someone here I want you to meet. Hello. Hello. Mac, this is Christine. My fiance. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Show him the ring. Wow. We're going to be married. Hugo picked it for me. Where's the happy day? Oh, sometime next year. We haven't fixed a date yet. I wish I could stop and chat, but I'm having my nails done. See you later. Bye. Bye. So you saw me this morning. Why didn't you wave back? What do you expect? I can't just forgive and forget, BC. That's not how it works. Exactly. I'm your sister. Precisely. You're the one person that I should be able to trust. You hate me, don't you? I'd just prefer it if you left me alone. I've only contacted you twice. You've gone and got yourself a job at my local. That's because I miss you. Oh. you know, we used to be so close. That's right. Used to be. Not anymore. And you're happy just to throw that away forever. Oh, don't you dare try and turn this on me. You're the one that wrecked her relationship when you slept with my husband, remember? Look, I've got work to do. I just want to talk to you two. And I don't. It's better that we stay apart, Beth. You know that. Are you all right? 
ないね<笑> yeah One of these. They're a lot softer than that cheap toilet paper. Thanks. Do you want to talk about it? I'm just a bit upset. About what the doctor said. Dr. Elliot. Well, she was the barmaid at the golf club, and I asked her out to dinner. Then we had a whirlwind six months, and then a few weeks ago, I asked her to marry me. I uh, couldn't get down on one knee, though. <laughs> How is the mobility? Oh, it could be worse. Not being a medical man like yourself, I should say that the best thing for a man in my condition is having a fine woman around. I don't doubt that for a moment. It's a pity they don't prescribe them on the NHS. We'd have a riot <laughs> on our hands if we did. <laughs> I should get off. Well, we'll see each other again soon, and perhaps we could get the girls together too. Yeah, excellent. It's good to see you looking so well. You too. <laughs> I mean, a hysterectomy. It's so final. I'm only 30. I haven't had kids yet or anything. But didn't Dr. Elliot talk to you about this? He was so cold. Yeah, but he, surely he explained what the options are. Maybe I haven't got any. Well, you must have. He just kept saying that he wasn't the expert and that I'd have to wait until I saw the specialist. Yeah, but that could take weeks. I know. Uh, no, it's... it's... Okay. Hello, Rip... Busy? Hectic. Well, at least I'm feeling a bit more alive than I was yesterday. And what's that down to? Coffee? No, a good night's sleep. I actually had a lion this morning. Well, a lion from me, at any rate. I'm normally up half the night. You'd have no problem sleeping round at mine. Even the phone's on the blink, so there's no distraction. Oh, sounds like bliss. Just back from Hugo's. Alexander Wren. I think Julian's worried about nothing. His dad's an excellent spirit. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Down there. Why don't you let me call you a cab? Okay, thanks. Hey, it's no problem. In fact, thanks for everything. Look, don't you mention it. Where have you been? I've just found a patient sobbing her heart out in the toilets. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. Just gonna call her a cab. Yeah. Am I interrupting? Uh, no, no, surgery's over. Come in, sit down. Well, I'd drop by for a progress report. Oh, yeah, right. Um, that's good news. Sorry? Well, Hugo seemed to be on top form to me. I couldn't see any evidence of erratic behaviour. Did you meet Christy? Yes. But surely you don't think she's a suitable match for him? Well, he's happy. Isn't that what's important? I don't believe it. The man has to be out of his mind marrying her. You know, maybe it's not your dad who's the problem. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, maybe the problem's yours. I... Maybe you think that he should be grieving more instead of getting married. If Christine were half decent, they'd have my blessing. As it is, she's nothing but a gold digger. You don't know that. Oh, come on. There's only one reason a woman like her is interested in an old man with arthritis. His money. Right, time to collect the baby. Oh, is Matt going with you? <laughs> He's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> so what happened earlier? Oh, what, well, Kate and Mac are going home. Oh, uh, no, Jude and that other woman. Oh, you mean her sister. Sister? She was the one in the leather bar the other mm. night. She came in yesterday as well to register with Jude. Mm, she has to make an appointment to see her own sister. Well, she tried, but Jude refused to see her. So Beth barged in. Well, you didn't hear what they were arguing about earlier, did you? I'm not an eavesdropper. Oh, no, no, but could you? Not really, but it didn't sound much like happy families. Mm. Mm, makes me glad to be an only child. <laughs> Too right. See you tomorrow. Mm. Uh. How was your day? Oh, not bad, thanks. Oh, good. It's a pity Alice Dowsland can't say the same. Sorry? Alice, your patient. 
I don't understand. Is she all right? Oh, no, far from it. She was in tears after she saw you. Why? Well, you honestly don't know. She was fine when she left me. Well, that goes to show how perceptive you are. Excuse me? You should have been more sympathetic with her. Don't tell me how to do my job. Well, somebody should. You can't treat patients like that. You ready? Uh, yeah, nearly. So, Julian came back. Yeah. You managed to put his mind at rest? No, no, not really. He reckons that Hugo's fiance is only after him for his money. And I have to admit, uh, he might have a point. Well, if Hugo's happy, there's not a lot you can do about it. Yeah, actually, I was thinking he might help me if I got to know her a bit better. So, would you mind if I asked them around for supper? Yeah, fine. Good, because I already have. When? Tonight. Tonight? Mm. Why don't you just stick to answering the telephone, OK? Is everything all right here? What's wrong with you? Can't you take a bit of criticism? Yes, from someone who's qualified to give it to me. So until you've spent six years in med school, I'll thank you to keep your opinions to yourself. What's the problem? This isn't a medical issue. It's about treating people with compassion. None of my past patients have complained. No, because they were all army boys. So? So you've forgotten how to relate to women. Guys, guys, just calm down, all right? Look, if they're due in about an hour, that doesn't give you time to go shopping and to cook a meal. I'll order a takeaway. They are problem solved. And what about Kieran? He's got to be picked up, bathed, put to bed. I've had just about enough of and this. the place is You a state. have no idea what you are talking about. Oh, don't I? You didn't see the state of us. Hang There's on no a minute. There's no need to shout, OK, you two? If Katrina wasn't so pig-headed, I wouldn't have to. I'm not the one with the problem. Oh, you are. Whoa. whoa. And here at the other end of the corridor. Does someone like to tell me what's going on? Katrina's taken it upon I was herself trying to, to tell me my job. job. I asked. I'm obviously not going to get a word of sense out of either of you. I'm going home. You two, calm down. And we'll discuss this tomorrow, OK? You heard the man. Hello, Riverside. Uh, Dr Carlisle. Uh, no, I'm, I'm afraid she just missed us. She's uh, gone home. Yeah, fine. It was your sister. Thanks. Well, I hope you like curry. Oh, I love it. Those nails look good. Hmm. Had them done today. Must play havoc with the housework. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't do any. <laughs> <laughs> so, when's the uh, wedding going to take place? Well, I was rather hoping for the Seychelles. But I prefer Mauritius. So it'll probably be a compromise. We'll get married in one place and honeymoon in the other. <laughs> well, uh, um, tuck in. I wouldn't like it to get cold. Well, it smells good. Mm. Yes, it's one of Mac's creations. Oh, hidden talents, eh? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <coughs> um. It's certainly got a kick to it. I think I might have overdone the curry powder a bit. Mm. It opens the pores. Huh. Mm. Oh, go and get some more water. Mm. I'll give you a hand. <coughs> You don't give up, do you? I want to explain. Why can't you get the message? I'm not interested. I just want you to leave me alone. Like you left me. All right. What on earth did you order? I just read off the numbers. I thought it was going to be mild. Oh, well, you thought wrong. We've got some ice cream, haven't we? That'll cool us off. Up to you. Well, it's true, I can't tell you much I regret it. I'd do anything to make it up to you. There's no point. You can't change. Of course I can. I have. It's in your character. I was husband. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, you always wanted what I had. I just didn't realise that included my husband. I hope it was. No, no, it was lovely. I just wasn't that hungry. It certainly cleared the sinuses. <laughs> Here, let me help you. No, no, I wouldn't want you to break a nail. I'll be careful. Thank you. 
Perhaps you girls could make some coffee while you're out there. Okay. Mm. Oh, you weren't meant to see those. It's all right. I don't like cooking either. No, no, it wasn't that. It's just we were a bit pushed for time. Oh, sorry. When Mac invited us round, I knew Hugo shouldn't have suggested tonight. Oh, it's, it's me. I should apologise. I sh shouldn't have got Mac to order a takeaway and to top it all, he gets the hottest thing on the menu. Well, let's face it. It spiced things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes, reminding us of his presence. I bet you could do without us around. It can't be easy working and looking after a newborn. Oh, don't worry. Do you want to come and meet him? I'd love to. <laughs> Is the age difference an issue for you and Christine? Not at all. What about you and Kate? Sorry? Well, there must be, what, uh, 20 years between you two? Well, not quite as much as that. Um, people must have been quite surprised when you two got together. <laughs> yes, perhaps. But it just so happens I don't give a stuff what anyone else thinks. Including Julian? Why Julian? He came to see me today. Oh, did he now? Oh, that explains your unexpected earlier visit. Yeah, I should have told you before, sorry. And what did he have to say? He's concerned that you and Christine might be rushing into the marriage. Julian is a snob. Come on, Hugo. There are certain perks attached to marrying you. Oh, my charm and good looks. Come on, spit it out. Some people might think that she's after your money. <laughs> I just wanted to be like you, that's all. I always admired you. You've got a funny way of showing it. That's because I'm messed up. I haven't been myself for eight years. That's why I do stupid things. Don't know what you mean. Oh, yes, you do. You're the only one who understands exactly what I've been going through. We are not having this conversation. Well, it's a fact. I haven't been the same since Bolivia. And neither have you. Hugo, if you haven't got a prenuptial agreement and you haven't changed your will, she's entitled to half when you're married. Do you know why this doesn't really concern me? Because I haven't got any money to give her. Your lifestyle, the holidays, the car. I remortgaged the house. It's the only asset I have. But... Nobody's going to be left with any debts. So you're not going to leave Julian or Christine anything? Julian's got plenty of money of his own. And if Christine isn't marrying me for my money, then she won't mind. And does she know about your financial situation? No. Don't you think you ought to tell her? A minute ago, you were practically accusing her of being a gold digger, and now you're concerned about her welfare. Now, come on, Mac, who's the villain? Is it her or is it me? There you are, all nice and dry. Gorgeous. Do you have any children of your own? No. I've always wanted them, but I think I've left it too late now. Oh, not necessarily. Kieran's my first. It's not just that. I don't think it'd be fair on Hugo at his age. Well, Max in the same position. No, I mean, there's more to it than just age. Hugo's arthritis for a start. You'd be left doing all the hard work. Mm. Well, in my opinion, it's tough, but it's worthwhile. She knows my feelings for her, and that's what counts. Well, I know, but I still think you ought to put all your cards on the table, otherwise it's not fair. Life isn't fair. When Mary died two years ago, that wasn't fair. Until I met Christine, I never thought I'd be happy again, and she gave me a second chance. I don't want to do anything to spoil that. It's rather like your situation in a way. I don't see how. We both made commitments to much younger women. I may be mad getting hitched at my age, and you may be mad having a baby at your age, but if it makes us happy, that's what matters. It seems that Kate's your second chance, and Christine is mine. Have you been talking about Bolivia to anyone? No. Are you sure? Yes. Then why did you have to bring it up? To try and explain my behaviour. We agreed never to discuss it. End of story. Well, it's not that easy for me. For you? There isn't a day goes by when I don't think about what happened. So what did you think? Anyone would think that Christine was a prospective daughter-in-law the way we're carrying on. 
I like her. I think she really cares for Hugo. Yeah, yeah, so do I. So why the frown? He's remortgaged the house. She doesn't know anything about it, and when he goes, she will have nothing. Well, if they're happy for the now. Well, you'd want to know, wouldn't you? Yes, but you know I'd stick by you if you had money worries. He doesn't think she's with him for his money. Maybe he doesn't want to run the risk of finding out what her motives really are. There's no point in going over what happened. We can't change the past. But do you understand why I feel like I do? I will never forgive you for sleeping with Richard, no matter what's happened. I think you should take some responsibility. For seducing my husband? No, for me being a mess in the first place. Oh, I'm not listening to this. I want you to go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Just get out. I'll be in touch. No, you won't, Beth. Please, just stay away from me. 